Hello there, this is Dave Allen, and I'm going to talk about using Drag and Dictate. Because I upgraded to the latest version, which is version 5, and it's been upgraded once to version 5.01. And do you know what? I feel like we're being treated badly by Nuance, the company who produced this, because it doesn't really work very well. They made some changes, and I don't really like the changes very much at all. There are a few things that just don't work right. Now before when I was doing some work it was always better to use the uh, little notepad that came with it so I could uh, talk directly into this thing and it would work fine and no problem at all I would just uh, do a copy and paste put into whichever application I wanted to use it in and everything was just spot on. Now they don't have that thing anymore so you have to type into or dictate into whichever application so Scrivener or TextEdit or Microsoft Word or whatever else you want to use and to be honest it doesn't really work very well. I'm typing into, dictating into Scrivener, and there are times when it just kind of messes up altogether. It puts bits of text at the end of the dictation that shouldn't be there. It sometimes will delete a whole pile of stuff and throw something else in there, and it makes a complete mess of it. It's terrible. So today I was using it with the uh, Dragon Pad. So you say the command of show Dragon Pad, and this thing pops up and you can t do the thing, into the dictation into that. And it's tied into the application that you were using when you were uh, saying show Dragon Pad. And I did 20 minutes worth of uh, dictation and the damn thing crashed. And when it came back again, of course, my text was all gone. So 20 minutes worth of work vanished. I suppose there must have been about 500, 600, maybe even 700 words that I'm going to have to redo. And I wasn't best pleased. So that's another thing which is a bit of a problem and I don't think, uh, I say, they're not treating us right as customers. We've had to pay for this upgrade and I say it's not quite right yet. What else is wrong with it? Well, they made it so that if you want to do a correction you have to sort of go back and say correct such and such a word and then it'll do the thing where you can say choose one or choose two and it'll give you the options. Whereas before you could uh, type, uh, dictate some words in there, I keep saying typed. So you could uh, dictate some words in there and at the end of those words it would give you a few options. So for instance if you said the word there it would give you some different types of there and you could say choose two or choose three and it would put the correct one in there for you. Now what you have to do is you have to say the word then you have to say correct there and then it gives you the option of saying choose one or choose two or three or whatever else you want to sort of uh, have it in there to get the right um, version of the word. And that's just not right. I used to that use that uh, quite often before with the, uh, what should we call it now? So for instance, if I wanted something in all capitals, so like say the words, so uh, I don't know, could be the name of something and I wanted it in capitals. So what I would do is I would say the you know, one or two words together and then I could say choose two and or choose five, whichever version of it was, I put it into the uh, you know, first letter was uppercase and the rest of it was lowercase or it could be in all capitals if I wanted to I'd have that choice by just saying choose whatever now I can't do that I have to say this thing first that want the words I want to choose and change and I say that's just not right um, I did work out a little thing where someone said that the problem was with text expanders so I did a thing with keyboard maestro so I press a key combination and I uh, turn off the text expander whenever I turn the microphone on and now that was working okay but still it's still not, it's still not um, making things completely right either. So this is Dave Allen and talking about Dragon Dictator.